Hey, what's up? This is Casey with another episode of The Show Don't Have a Name For. Today's outfit of the day, a nice blue blazer, a blue shirt with blue stripes, a fantastic navy blue tie. This is actually one of my grandfather's ties. Uh, I don't really know how I ended up with it, but he always wore a tie to work, and he wore a tie pin to work. It was one of the things they gave him. As a bonus or a Christmas bonus, was they gave him a Christmas bonus tie pin. Today was one of the more stressful days I've had in a while. I had a job interview for a job in Japan, uh, and I've known about it for a few weeks. And I wasn't necessarily stressed out about it, but I was just, I've been stressed. Looking for jobs is stressful. They want to know everything, that, anything that you've done. And, you know, going through your history of, you know, what have I done wrong and what's going on and, you know, am I good enough for this job? I also had just a regular work meeting. So today was our last meeting of the summer session. And I just, I was sitting there just having a normal day. Next thing I know, everybody's standing up around me, kind of yelling at me and, uh, asking me if I was okay and blah 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 and it took me a while I didn't know where I was I didn't know what was happening I didn't know where I was you know I didn't know all of these things I thought I might be drunk I thought I was maybe in a fight you know I didn't know all these things um, and what happened was I just had a seizure and I fell and there's not a mark but I fell right out of my chair and hit my head pretty badly uh, and this was about 30 minutes before this job interview which um, I had about 10 minutes to sober up and then you know just kind of had to chill out for a while after a seizure usually I get really emotional I get very confused I you know, even though I work with people, I couldn't recognize my own boss. I couldn't recognize my coworkers. They kept asking me questions. I didn't know what was going on. My alarm was going off. I didn't know why my alarm was going off, even though, you know, I specifically planned an alarm so I could get out of this meeting early. Uh, so this is part of the life of an epileptic is it's, it does get tough. It does get exhausting. You know, I was just in the neurologist's office last week, and I said I hadn't had a big seizure like this. I have two types of seizures. I have one type where I just, I, you know, it's like I'm really drunk or really stoned, and you could walk right past me, and I wouldn't notice. And I have another type. Type 2, where I fall down and I convulse, and today I had type 2, but I had it in front of a lot of people, um, and luckily, you know, I didn't get hurt, luckily they didn't call the ambulance, I didn't bite my teeth, bite my tongue apart or anything, or lose anything, but, um, if you see somebody having a seizure, you know, try to make sure their head is okay. Try just to be there to keep them calm. I usually get very upset, very afraid. You know, if it lasts longer than five minutes, then you can call the emergency people. Um, don't put anything inside of their mouth. Don't put your wallet. Don't put a spoon or anything inside of their mouth. You might lose a finger or, you know, something could get broken or just choke the person who's having a seizure okay they can breathe they're just having a seizure it's a common thing for some reason that they some people think that you should put stuff inside of your mouth okay um so i think it was spooky for everybody to see today it was definitely spooky for me the job interview went all right uh it was a group job interview um, what causes my epilepsy? I have no idea. I think today was a little just 
too much stress, a little too much of running around, but who knows, okay? I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody who's got epilepsy is feeling okay. I hope if you're looking for jobs, you're finding jobs. I hope I find one too, all right? You're the best. Thanks for watching.